I'm here with Matt Diffie. He's a uh, cartoonist for The New Yorker, among other publications, and he yeah. just gave a talk at South by Southwest about creativity, about being a, an idea factory, and we're here talking about uh, drawing and ideas. Yeah, another day at the factory wore me out. Yeah, I carry a notebook around all the time in case something comes to me, but mostly I just have to sit down and, you know, drum up ideas the old-fashioned way. And what about um, images? I mean, do you see something where it's like, that man has a really funny face, I'm going to catalog that? <laughs> Not as much. I guess I hear phrases more than I see things. I will hear people talking about things, you know, like business lingo or a sentence that has entered the culture. And sometimes I'll note that, you know, and, and try to figure out a way to make a cartoon out of that. This was a few years ago, but everyone was saying drill down. We've got to drill down. Yeah. We need to drill down on that and get a robust model. They used to say that, a robust. What are you drawing right now? Is I'm drawing an old guy that doesn't understand business lingo. He's saying, what the heck does robust have to do? <laughs> I don't know where it's going. Have to do with what do old people eat? Cream of wheat. Cereal. Cream of wheat. That's Cream of wheat? When you're in your ideas phase, you're actually not drawing. This is not what you do. Yeah, I don't usually, because then I just end up drawing. I just get sort of enamored by what I'm drawing and I forget to, oh, it's got to be funny? Uh, I come at it more, I think, for, as a comedy writer. So I'm constantly, you know, just working on words, trying to get a funny, either a funny joke, funny line, or just a concept that's funny. And then when I know I've got something, then I'll go to draw it. This is South by Southwest Interactive, and you are a practitioner of one of the oldest forms of technology that Exists. Yeah. I'm a dinosaur already. And you use technology as little as possible in your entire process, right? And that's not because I don't like technology. It's just because I was I'm slow to the game. I'm trying. I'm trying to learn. This is my technology, or maybe like my idea of technology is a mechanical version of these. Hmm. Have you seen those? A mechanical They're version. amazing. Um, you I click. You click, and it comes out there. You know, when everybody else loses power, I still got my pencil. Yeah. <laughs> Wiener cat. You, you were talking about yeah. how to how to basically take something and make it funnier. I mean, just the image, not. Uh, well, there's a know. lot of things that people don't realize that we think about in in an image. Um, you know, as far as how we're going to lead your eye around the image so that you can find the joke. Because sometimes the joke is you know, the look on the guy's face or yeah. the little detail that makes it funny. Like I have that one with the guy, you know, face painting five bucks, and then you have to look down at his hand and see that he's holding like a paint roller, like he's just going to go. But you have to see that, and so I, I design it, you know, with angles so that your eye kind of finds that joke on your own. If I said draw a horse, now I said, can you draw a funny horse? Yeah. I don't draw funny, usually. I mean, that's part of my voice, is to be sort of dry. I like Stephen Wright, you know, uh, Dimitri Martin, those kind of comedians, and like English comedy. It's just yep. sort of ridiculousness, but in a straight voice, and, and I think, I think that's what my drawings are. Drawing funny, to me, is, you know, if you draw bad, it's kind of funny. You want me? I'll draw a funny horse if you want. I could draw it wrong, like, you know, we draw the head and then we draw a little body, which is definitely wrong. I don't know if it's funny in the way you meant. It's, it is actually funny, and but it's funny to a different part of my brain than I think most of your comics <laughs> are funny to. Now, this is a thing that I, I don't do much, and maybe I should do it more. In fact, I will. Just sort of doodling until you get an idea. That's one thing. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I assume all the writers produce cartoons for the uh, cartoon contest, right? The caption contest. That's a tricky situation because they buy a cartoon from you, and then they take your caption off of it. So it's like getting, you know, accepted and rejected at the same time. Yeah. So I, I've actually tried not to do it lately. I've asked them not to do it because, yeah, I can't take it emotionally. I'm glad they're doing it because it does make people sort of think about what we do in a way. You know, I thought at one point that it would make people think, gosh, this is really hard. Yeah. But I don't know if it's doing that. It almost makes people think like, because everyone you talk to has, who submitted thinks their idea was brilliant. Like, mine should have won it. Um, so it's maybe doing the opposite, making them think it's too easy. This is really cool. It's, it's, it's just We could cool. have a it's guy over here. <laughs> this is a terrible cartoon, but we could have a guy over here saying, why the long face? <laughs> You're laughing. You shouldn't be laughing at that. That is a dumb joke. 